Hello and good day to you guys. Uh, this is Next Meridian and you guys have been waiting for this video for a while and um, we're leaving this Monday, so in six days and we're leaving on our three year world tours, so as some of you who may know and the car is fully ready and from our last video that we did on YouTube which was about a year and a half ago we've done a lot of differences and upgrades and a lot of you have been asking for this video and finally we're going to do it so let's just jump into it um, so Mathilde's standing there filming um, from time to time <laughs> he is uh, so let's try and do this as best as possible so we're gonna start with the exterior then we'll move into the interior okay um, so let's just go ahead and start with this with this side first first things first I, I, I never really remember what we have but we have 235 85 R16 tires from BF Goodrich I think they're fine. Uh, I think next time we might go for the bigger version, which would be the 255 uh, version. But for now, these are fine. Um, we've got one spare tire at the back and we'll show you soon. Here on the front, we have one uh, shovel. It is going to be sort of useful for when we're gonna be pulling ourselves out uh, of sand, but mostly going to be useful for our bathroom breaks. Um, we have we didn't want anything on the roof so as you can see here we've got the albatross which is our logo and we have a solar panel there which is uh, given to us by Sunware. Uh, Sunware is our partner on this trip and they've given us this solar panel and another solar panel which is a uh, plug-and-play solar panel which we can sort of move around uh, when we're parked uh, so we didn't want anything on the roof this is why we don't have a gallery and we don't have a roof uh, roof storage so instead we have this big bag which we got from Blunt Forces here which is a company in the UK uh, and we bought this bag it is waterproof and here we'll be mostly putting all of our exterior equipment meaning tent, sleeping bag, shower tent, um, duvet, things like that and our two chairs as well so this is sort of like exterior equipment that we don't really mind to leave outside uh, we changed our lights so Vision X LED lights We've changed also the blinkers, got the LED lights here, uh, more Vision X. So these are position lights. What we're going to be doing is spinning them to the side. Uh, from our trip in Sweden, we noticed that we couldn't really see the deers on the side. So these ones, now they're facing forward, but they'll be twisted sideways. This is for long distance lighting, uh, mostly for off-roading. We do have a winch from T-Max. Uh, it says nine pounds, but I think the rope will snatch before. But we do have this. We've used it a couple of times uh, in training and also to pull out other cars. We never really got stuck ourselves except in training uh, when we were doing a mud training in Belgium. Um, we, what else have we got? We've got this thing installed. So this is pretty basic. It's just the air intake is coming from in here. But when it's snowing or raining, it's sort of clogging it and blocking it. So this is sort of a system where the air is just coming out through here. Uh, installed inter air intake for higher uh, intake so it will be cyclonic this is pretty simple we just pop out this part lift it clean it and put it back on it's a pretty easy system and this was all installed by a company in Lyon called RRC uh, they do actually a lot of 4x4 installations uh, our logo of course the next marine in our trip an albatross which is part of the logo uh, the world tour this if you can see is actually the, um, the fender and the light of a defender so to say that we are leaving with a defender this is the year we're leaving and uh, the global crossing and these are just colors we really enjoyed having so we put that in there we have these from mud stuff these guards uh, the windows are pretty high so when we're sitting in here the sun does usually tend to come around this area uh, of, the, of the window so these are actually very nice and they actually protect us pretty well from the sunlight. So this is useful. Coming to here, so here is again one of our partners called uh, Rough Parts and they're based out of Switzerland. They do beautiful Land Rover Defender accessories. This is actually a two, um, a two product utility. It can be used to carry sand ladders, which you can see here, Max Tracks and it can also be used as an exterior table um, and so this is what it looks like we've actually uh, we're actually going to use this as an exterior table for cooking or for reading or whatnot uh, it's a bit high for Mathilde but they do have another system of bracket that could bring it maybe a little lower I'm guessing an extra 10 centimeters maybe 15 but this you have to check on their website but we didn't opt for that uh, solution 
Um, what else on this side? On this side, I think we're pretty good. We do have an extra 45 liter fuel tank back here. So we're now at 115 liter of diesel. Uh, and uh, of course, I th if you know that the fenders, they have their original diesel filter here. We've actually got a second one installed on the other side of the car. And we'll show you that in, uh, when we get to that side. But uh, we do have a second pre-filter installed by Newman 4x4 in France as well. And the company, I mean, the pre-filter company is called Flash Lube. We didn't go with Parker, but we went with a company from Australia called Flash Lube. Um, coming towards the back, high lift. Uh, I think self-explanatory, you guys know what it is. Vision X lighting, so one and two for, uh, for exterior cooking or for exterior lighting or reversing when we can't, when it's nighttime. Uh, we did receive, so it's behind this uh, trash roux bag. So let's talk about the trash roux bag. This is first an Australian company who makes uh, these bags. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, that's where we got it from. And this will mostly be for our bin, our trash, or our dirty clothes, or even wet shoes. We'll just fit in here. And below this is actually a front runner uh, barbecue. So we got this as a gift from uh, Mathilde's uh, siblings. As, uh, we tested it the first time in Belgium with some friends. Uh, it was a lot of good fun. So yeah, I, I do like that part of equipment. And what I like about it is just that it's exterior to the car, uh, keeping as much freedom and spacing inside. Uh, but we'll, we'll see the inside soon. You might know Explore more. So they have a great story. Their parents, uh, I mean, the people who went on Explore more are a British couple in the 1960s who have a Defender and they traveled around uh, Central um, Middle East and I think a part of Africa. And so their story and their book is amazing. And so these guys have written a story about us as well. So we're, we're very happy to talk about them. Uh, so back here, this is the shower import input. Uh, we do have a little hose that fits in here when we shower outside. For the shower system, we have inside the car a 65 liter tank. Uh, aluminium tank and it is with a heat exchanger so it actually heats up uh, with the engine we have a switch to switch it on and we have also an indicator of the temperature so more or less 20 minutes of drive and it reaches up to 50 degrees which is I think enough for a shower um, so this is our cover for the for the pop-up roof that cover is a winter edition, so it's on there all the time. And uh, if we wanted to cool it down, then we would open the windows. Um, we don't actually have them right now, but we do have from, I think it's also Mud Stuff or maybe Flat Dog. We have those um, grills that sort of fit in the windows here. So what you do is you sort of bring down the window. Whoop down the window and put a grill here that would be this high so that there's air passage and the, the um, pop-up roof from Xtech actually has you might if you come a little back you might see those two little windows up there and that's sort of where we also have a bit of fresh air and that whole part here is a window so this all opens and we got a mosquito net so it's a winter edition waterproof edition but because of all the different systems that we can put like a mosquito net we can also have it in the summer and that's what we'll have for the whole trip. We didn't want to bring spare parts that we then, you know, stick to the to the net so that it would be, become a winter to summer edition. We just wanted one net. Uh, coming towards this exterior, uh, we have the storage box. This is actually where we'll be putting all of our cooking uh, cutleries, cooking pots, uh, plates, things like that. Everything will sort of fit in here. We didn't find a better place for it and it doesn't rattle. I mean, when we close it up, it, it holds well, so it's okay. Uh, this is a storage box that we got from a German company. Of course, it's not the original. Uh, I think the original one is ARB, but uh, we got this one for much cheaper and same size, also waterproof. And here will be quick uh, recovery, uh, recovery kit. So we still have to put it all in here. This one is an extra diesel tank. It will always stay empty unless we're doing a long distance off-road. So with our 115 liters of diesel, we can already do about a thousand kilometers uh, without having to fuel up. So this will give us an extra, yeah, 200 kilometers. This one is a water, uh, an extra water tank. So drinking water. And along with this one, we do have the, what is the company in? Lifesaver. Life 
saver. So we have also the Lifesaver 20 liter jerry can that has the pump. Never used it yet, but uh, soon, soon. So we can filter clean water and we have this 10 liter one, which actually will fit inside the car so that we can easily uh, use it without having to step out. So we do have 40 and 50, so we have 50 liters of fresh water. And then we have here, as I was saying you earlier, the 65 liter water tank. Actually, it's right here and it crosses the whole car to the other side. And this is what we use for our dishes. So, you know, we have this pump to sort of uh, do our dishes, also used for the shower. And we do have up here in this uh, furniture, a sink, so for brushing our teeth. So that's sort of what this water tank is for. Uh, it may be potable water, it may be non-potable water, but we'll put some, uh, some um, treatment to make sure it's not too, too gross. Um, here in the door we have the shower, so this is the shower hose that we connect back here. And this little uh, bag here is actually brackets that will um, that fit in these holes. So you might see here, or see the company who installed the car. Uh, made these two little inserts here and we do have actually the flooring of the car i will show you that actually let me just show you right now otherwise it might not make, make a lot of sense um, so in the flooring of the car as you can see we have this wooden part which comes out um, up like this and so this has two purposes one using this metal stick here which fits in here we can use it as a as a second bed and so two more people can sleep here or it could be used as a table using those brackets in here. It connects here and with a rope that we have as well in the bag, we create a table and we can actually sit. So that's pretty neat. It's the flooring becomes a second bed and a table. Uh, one more thing in here, which I forgot to talk about is our double ARB compressor. Uh, yeah, we're super happy about this. I mean, it works really well. Uh, it's very fast. I mean, to pump up the tires, to uh, yeah, 3.7 bars, it will take us about 30 seconds, a minute, and that's what we wanted. So definitely recommend that one. We have a fuel, I mean, a sorry, a fire extinguisher in the back. Uh, it's not the best placement in terms of uh, quick access, but we didn't really know where to fit it. So that's where it's going to be. Here, also from, um, also from Mud Stuff, we got these little pouches. And this is a sort of the pouches where we have uh, quick access tools like hammers, uh, screwdrivers, things like that. So this is right behind the driver's seat. Awning, long awning. Uh, we're not a huge fan of awnings, but uh, when there's wind, we always break it. So we hope that it will last this time. Um, what else is there from the exterior? Uh, just trying, oh yeah, I tried to show you real quick. So if you can see here, this part right here is a second pre-filter and actually they were able Newman to use the exact same cover and protection of the original filter by cutting it a little bit and putting in there then the pre-filter so now we have two filters and if you know Grizzly and Bear uh, they use the exact same one installed from the exact same company Newman 4x4 and it uh, they've been traveling now for three four years and it has worked perfectly fine so we're hoping this will be a good solution as well because our previous owner actually broke the engine and had it replaced in the USA and that took them five weeks, cost them, cost them a ton of money. So I think it was an investment that made sense. I think uh, in terms of exterior, we're pretty, pretty good. I won't talk too much about what's under here, about the suspensions, about the heavy duty parts that we've put. Uh, maybe we'll do another video about that, but I'm not a huge expert. Now, maybe we'll talk about the inside. So quickly over here, we've added as well this protection from mud stuff. So it's sort of a, uh, a grill that you can put on the back door. Pretty easy to install. And we bought these as well from mud stuff. So these are pouches. Mathilde then sewed these, um, this, uh, what is it called? This tissues. Nicer fabric. Nicer fabric just to make it a bit of a home feeling. So that's my personal Matilde's personal here's where our shower goes so, i mean our towels and our toothbrushes and toothpaste first aid kit and we actually have a second one so this one is sort of the band-aids and then we have this one for which is right here that one here is sort of uh the medicines and if we have bigger cuts so we've got 
two first aid kits. Um, the flooring, I've talked to you about it. The carpet. This is the plug and play um, solar panel that we were talking to you about from Sunware. So we didn't really know where to put it and putting it here with these uh, cables actually makes it much easier. So we put it here, it doesn't disturb us. So let's uh, let's step in here and see what, what we have. Welcome to the to Albatross. Um, great. Uh, is it okay? okay? Do you want to zoom out or it's okay? No, it's fine. That's good? Okay. So here again, more pouches from Mud Stuff. Uh, here are just uh, a lot of electronic parts. This is the... Uh, here are some of our cups. Here's all the batteries and extra chargers. Here in this drawer here, oh, so all this is done from Xtech. This is Mathilde's drawer, so it's sort of going to be all of her shoes. Uh, as long as it fits in here, you can put as much as she wants. Um, then I've got the same one on this side. So Mathilde and, Mat and I have uh, separate ones. Um, a little mirror for, for a little morning routine. We have here a table, so we can be having dinner, lunch, if it's raining outside, we can be eating inside or working on our laptops, on videos or reading a book. Uh, we have here two little stories for all of our cutleries and here's sort of our cooking set. Uh, like this. And here will be food. So these are two storage parts which will be food. Well, right now it's all empty, of course, because we haven't left yet, but we have to go soon to go to buy all the groceries. Here is our clothing. So one for Mathilde, one for me. Um, we also have to set up all the clothing. We do have those little IKEA um, sort of compartments that are open at the top and it's, yeah. We have different sizes so that we can fit our different clothes and it will actually yeah, look better than the trashing it all in here. Under the sink, so this is the sink I was talking to you about from Xtech, so it's it's pretty neat. Uh, we have it in here so we can brush our teeth or clean our dishes. Here is a little storage. Uh, here does the water pump for the sink but also for the shower. And uh, down there we'll put all of sort of the cleaning or uh, the cutting boards sort of yeah things we won't be using every day here's a bigger storage in here we have the solar panel charger uh, well one of the solar panel chargers because we have one from uh, energy mobile and another one from um, solar i mean sunware in here will be sort of all the like the big jackets or sort of the things we'll use a bit less likely sort of a storage room just for things that we might not use every day Here's a uh, angle fridge. Uh, I don't know how many liters it is, but it's perfectly fine. So this one is functional and uh, I mean, obviously it's functional, but I mean, it's uh, <coughs> it's perfect for our use. We have here Jackery. Uh, Jackery is a uh, is sort of a power bank, a big power bank that we can use. So we have plugs like at home. Uh, this one we'll be mostly using for away from the car charging when we're going camping, things like that, or if we're leaving the car somewhere and we want to uh, power different uh, material. We might use it in the car in case we stop for a few days and the solar panel is not enough to charge the car. And we just, so this is sort of a backup. Uh, what else is here? So we do have this documents pouch, also from Mud Stuff. Uh, here we'll put all of our important documents and you might notice in here we put a little scratching tape that's where it goes on here and this documents pouch will fit in there and, uh, and we'll keep all our documents here here if I remove this pouch and remove this couch here is where we store all, all of our spare parts so this is a bit full right now, I have to clean it up, but this is where all of our spare parts will go. So we won't actually be going much in here unless, uh, yeah, we have an issue. Um, Mathilde's father has created and built, let's see if we can find it here, see it here. This, um, this uh, wooden furniture, if we open, so we can open it from up here. And here is sort of uh, the different drinks and uh, other pharmacy parts. 
here will be all of our electronics so the drone and there's actually two levels so this is the first and there's another drawer below so it will be our computers uh, drones cameras uh, directly plugged with a 230 volt a 230 volt the plug is here so i don't know if you're able to go in front there but you'll see we have the plug and at the same time so that's a dometic plug and there we have as well the heater which is a webasto heater and um it's a bit weird that it's next to the fridge it's counterintuitive but it works we have this curtain that we just recently installed we've never tested it out yet we have a uh a window uh protector here so in the evening we just close that curtain and put that one plaster here and we're completely uh, private here's our bed uh we ordered the mattress from mamou sur mesure it's a french company who gets their uh their bedding done in spain and it's actually much much better quality you can choose the sizes and how many times it folds so we picked two folds i mean one fold uh, and so to get our bed we just have to pull here and uh by pushing the, the wooden parts then we can extend our bed so that's our setup here and uh i think that's all for in here so let's go back outside Nice. We do have also another table here for cooking with uh, the paper. So this you can sort of unhook and another table sets up here. It's a rear camera for, whoops, sorry. Rear camera for uh, parking. Let me see if there's anything else. On this side we're okay. Maybe we can come to the front. So Matilda as well, if you're a Land Rover, I mean a Defender owner, you know that there isn't any side storage in the front parts and so Matilde built these in super useful um, we do have a batter, uh, battery uh, sort of connection cuts this one is for the car battery and the other one's for the auxiliary battery so when we're going hikes or keeping the car we can go away with the keys below here are the where the batteries are stocked we have one AGM battery for the bar the, as a car battery starter and the second one is a lithium battery from Energy Mobile. Uh, very good batteries with an application we can follow the, the consumption, the consumption and, and the recharge. So they're both below here. Um, Juvie box, we have the, the, I forgot what they're called, but we have the, the radio system as well here. So we have the antenna in the front. The antenna isn't installed, but we have this part. Here is where we have the T-Max, sort of to see the different battery levels. And this is where we have the heater. So the Webasto function is from the front. So it's not great that it's in the front, just because every time we want to reduce the power or turn it on or turn it off, we have to sort of go below the bed, go in front, turn it on, turn it off. But uh, can't have everything. Um, coming to the other side. I didn't show you this part, but these are the, is the furniture that Matilde's dad built. So this is where all our computers and things will fit. We have this part where we're sort of fixing it right now. It will be back in very soon. So we have the two drawers and here's our cooking set. So this, it's Coleman, it's the 424 model from Coleman. So there are two, uh, two fires. It works with fuel uh, because gas, even on a world tour and leaving the European continent, the valves always change. Finding gas is not always easy. Some people say it is, but some people say it's not. Uh, fuel one is much easier when we fill up the gas of the car. We also refill a little bit that one for cooking and it works extremely well. There you go. I think uh, we've done the whole car. So let us know if you have any ideas or suggestions that we could still add. I think we're pretty set. Uh, let us know if you have any questions or if you want any of the contacts with who we're working with or if there's any parts that you have questions about then we're more than happy to answer them and of course uh, yeah let us know what is your setup so that we can also get inspired by you guys uh, we'll test all of these parts starting next week monday and uh, if you're interested we're now going to be doing a, also a second video on youtube with all the equipment we're bringing so we'll tell you uh, which electronics we're bringing, what clothes we're bringing, what spare parts we're bringing, what pharmacy we brought, uh, and so on. So 
see you on the next video and take care bye bye Thank you.